All right, guys, we're here today. We're going to be talking about Ace. I know some people are tired about Red, but I got a lot of requests to show off my Ace list. So you're going to notice right off the bat, I'm not playing it like Whitebeard. I think that's a waste of the leader's potential. Uh, we're kind of somewhere in between a Zoro build and a Whitebeard build. Like I want to stay as aggressive as possible. We have ways to pump out damage quickly. Um, against the late game red decks, we don't want to play it, uh, to be honest with you. We want to leverage what our leader has, which is being able to discard events for defense or offense. And obviously, the one of the best cards in the deck is our Flame Emperor, which will give us double attack and plus 3k power. And, you know, if we need to kill something, we can kill something. Um, so this is massive. This is massive. Uh... That's why we're trying to play like this mid-rangey, but more closer to aggro. Why we're playing the, uh, Magra and two copies of Dadon. We have 18 one drops, which is the magic number for Dadon. Uh, it, when you do play her, you should consistently hit one of your one drops. Um, it's very rare, if ever, that you'll see her whiff. As for some of our tech choices, we are playing a round table Big Mom is an annoying fucking card. <laughs> uh, it's very easy to just lose a game to her. So I do like having the access to search for this via buggy. Um, it may not be worth it in the long run just because we're not running the stage as well to help really find the event cards when we need them to. Sometimes this just gets bottomed by our other guys. But like I said, it's just a tech card. I like it a lot. Uh, same with our Fire Fist. Um, Pretty decent against Katakuri, Zoro, it comes up every so often. Uh, just being able to KO a bunch of things or use uh, Otama to leverage this even higher. Um, being able to KO like a 7k and a 4k or a blocker, etc. Um, so it, it's pretty useful. Uh, again, we have multiple ways to search it. That's why I'm only running the one. It's kind of a brick otherwise. We are running enough to make our mark our marco relevant we need to leverage this pressure so we are going to be attacking as much as possible with this card and bringing him back so that he can continue to pressure our opponent as well as four copies of ace this just trades with board phenomenally it's good against yellow it's good against uh whitebeard because they're playing you know slow vanilla cards that just keep you know coming out so being able to shrink them and trade board effectively is pretty huge. I want to find room for fourth Marco. I could probably take out the Seaquake, but um, it's just something I'm trying out at the moment. So what other things can I say about this build? Um, as with any red deck, we are trying to take as many hits as possible. It is very common and you should be taking hits kind of early uh even against red mirrors just to a fill your hand and b get these rad beams online um you you play zoro and ace as whitebeard like you want to be low on life because all your opponent's doing is filling your hand so that is encouraged we want that to happen do not try and counter early you will pay for it in the end game once you get to two life, then you can start thinking about, okay, how many turns do I need to play this out? Because again, we are not playing for a long game. We are playing for a mid game. Um, once they start slamming multiple moms or nine drops, to be honest with you, you weren't going to win anyway, uh, even if you played your own. I don't like the versions that are trying to play quote unquote control just because you are going to be two for winning yourself too many times to try to not die. I played a ace player in my locals the other day when I got third and just too many two for ones. Like, yeah, he was able to kill a, a nine drop or whatever, but like, what is that doing in the long run? Like, I, I'm pretty sure I showed it in my video with the Whitebeard build. It's just, it's too dirtily. It, it's not doing enough. You're not putting enough pressure to leverage the, the removal. So I kind of put that on as a backseat. I don't think it's worth it. I definitely don't think the stage was worth it at the moment. When the meta slows down in OP04, because it will, I think it's worth considering a different uh, version of the build. But at the moment, I want to try this balls to the wall aggro. 
Well, it's not really aggro, but you know what I mean. Like, I want, I want to try and win as fast as possible with this deck. So that's what we are trying to accomplish. Let's see if I can make it succeed, guys. Got our first game into Law. I'm going to take second from him. Uh, this is pretty decent. Let's see if I can pull some of our removal cards. Uh, we have good options against them via Sea Quake and Fire Fist. And just overall ways to shrink the threats down. So we have ways to control board. I actually think this is probably Ace Favored, in my opinion. That's a little ballsy. If I can hit the Sea Quake off the Izo, oh my god. Alright, don't hit it. Um... This is actually a tough one. Do I take the... I think I take the Marco. Uh, missing out on our one Fire Fist kind of sucks a little bit. But not the end of the world. Um, and pass. So we're doing typical Whitebeard pirate shenanigans. We should be hitting more times than not with our Whitebeard event. As well as our Izo. Uh, I'm not saying it's impossible to whiff, but very, very unlikely. He gets Nami. Let me see if I can get this extra dig at a Sea Quake. We've seen 10 cards and haven't found it. Um, sure. Mm. I kind of want to hold this for later when he plays Law. I might regret it. Not just popping this Bonnie as soon as possible. You know what, I'll try it. Uh, again, it might be a misplay in the long run. But denying him this card is pretty huge. That way I don't have to gamble it all on Izo. Uh, so, we'll Izo again. Grab Ace. Um, fortunately, pretty sure we're gonna <laughs> whiff our Sea Quake now. Yep. Uh, we'll take our Otama. Six. Should take it. No reason to counter. Just low on cards, losses, Bonnie. Unless he has another one. Um, probably the only reason why he would have played Bonnie is if he had a second one, in my opinion, into red. Specifically Ace. Uh, has Zoro. Let's see if he's smart enough to attach the Dawn. If he doesn't attach the Dawn, that's a misplay. In my opinion. I think making this a 6k even when you can't attack is pretty relevant. If he doesn't see the line, um, it's going to be bad news bears for him. You can attach here. Nope, doesn't do it. Well, we're taking 6. <laughs> we'll clear that. Tommy here, clear there, attack for five. Yep. So now he's down two Bonnies and his pressure. Uh, has to take time to fill the board to shambles. What did he hit off the Bonnie? I wasn't paying attention. That was my bad. <laughs> another Nami into Nami into Rush Sorrow this time to third Bonnie all right he's surviving <laughs> he's finding all the things gets Hawkins like I said this might come back to bite me in the butt Plays the Zoro instead. Uh, we'll take one more. And now we're going to start using our counter power. He's going to attach Rusted here. Doesn't do it. Alright, we'll, we'll pretend he did. <laughs> and we'll 2k counter out anyway. Okay. That round table is good for later. Uh, I think we could just ace. Place Otama, we'll go like this and like this for whatever reason. And then we'll attack two into two. I don't 
think it's worth burning any counter, to be honest with you. <sighs> we'll attack five into five. have pressure for days. Should take a 2k counter now, whether it be Otama. He hasn't played any, so there's the Makino. Kind of interesting he gave away damage. I guess he might have broken him. Not sure. Takes the final hit. Ooh, spicy. And we'll pass it one up. We have Rad Beam just in case. We have two hits to tank, and he still has to worry about a very threatening part. <laughs> so he's gonna Otama oh, there. He could do like double Tama and like uh, ensure the kill. Just because he has nothing else. Finds fourth body? No, that's the same one. I'm sorry. He uh, shambles this one into the Restaur. Gets his OPO1 Law. Fortunately, he. Has to hard cast law. No, oh, not hard cast law, I'm sorry. He didn't shambles. I thought he did. Just plays Bonnie, finds law, shambles then. So he has another ST Zoro. There's a Bonnie in hand. Let's see what he chooses to do. He's not putting any pressure. Regular effect. Doesn't do anything to Ace. I don't know, Chief. Granted, you have two up, but it's a little, it's a little dicey. Go with this. We'll replace. Same play, we'll just swing slow. I'm not too worried about dying. Yeah. Got a mirror match, this is gonna be fun. Do I wanna go first or second though? I think we go first. I think. <laughs> uh, if he's playing a more control build, I might try and leverage damage as fast as possible. Uh, it's the only card I can get. No play. Okay. So like I said, um, I'm just gonna push. Again, we're playing the same strategy. He's gonna go down as fast as possible for red. I'm just going to keep playing the long game. I mean the short game. Tax Izo, that's fine. My Izo is a blocker. Fire fists. Uh, we'll just attack five. Start taking counters now. And pass. Always play this card, guys. Especially in the red mirrors, just do it. Unfortunately, I get punished for not having any events <laughs> in my hand. That's a lot of information my opponent has now. We'll take. Um, I'm not gonna give him ace. So what we'll do is we'll just go nine. Buggy. Hmm. Take the Emperor. Uh, just because we're so far ahead anyway. Let's see what he does. Plays Nami. It's kind of garbage. I guess he's trying to be on the same kind of idea of just aggro.
Um, I think I'm just gonna just start throwing these aces down. Uh, just cause I need bodies. Uh, we'll attack for six. There's a guard point. Attack for seven. There's a beam. Good information. Yes. Starter deck Luffy. Five unknowns. Two life. Flame Emperor can close this out for me. Has his own Emperor. It's going for 11k. feels bad, but I'm going to do it. Doesn't do it back. Not too worried about dying here. <laughs> uh, plays a Nami build, so if he's double Izo Nami, that's very inconsistent. He has the Marco into double nothing. Okay, go Ace. Go seven. No trash. We got the hardest matchup in my opinion. Uh, we'll go first because Big Beard is going to be annoying. This is not a good hand. This is not a good hand, but I'm going to keep it anyway. <laughs> uh, reason being, we have no search, but I'm keeping this for the nine drop. Just going to go Izo. Does he find nine or does he find Whitebeard Pirates? Those are usually what you're looking for. He finds Pirates, so he's gonna dig 10 cards deep. You see a lot of your deck in with Whitebeard and then uh, obviously drawing off your life. So he gets Ace, Ace a really strong card. Um, we're just gonna attack for eight here. Just make the math easier in the late game or he gives me the counter early, which is fine. I need cards. There it is. Just do that. Pass. Uh, if he chooses to attack with this, so I always say this, guys. If you know into Whitebeard and Ace, where you're going to see Ace, uh, be careful how you swing your vanillas. Sometimes it's not worth it going into the Ace turn, especially if you know they have it. Like if they show you off off of your their searchers etc um just be mindful don't don't just throw that away for free you can hold on to those for later i'll take so now i'm, I'm gonna take this for free pretty much even if he plays no well, he doesn't have it um like blocker marco yeah that's free We'll attack the bear because I have enough to defend it. Yep. We'll attack like that. And we'll pass. So this is ace turn. It's okay. Just because we have the cards for it. goes down to one. Uh, that's interesting. We'll take it. 
Um, just to make the math easier. Six. This should pull a beam or a guard point. Yep, and we'll pass with one done. There he is. Take the Marco. We'll just do the combo. And then pass to him. We can go like this actually. Take a card. Yep. And then we'll go. Pass. So our little one of is paying off. <laughs> Of course, my man's has two. She uh, do that and take. That was actually pretty good. See if I can pull an event. Hopefully, not a white bridge pirate. <laughs> Fuck. All right, we're running pretty low. Cards Otama? Oh, that works too. This is scary. Oh, uh, obviously I can't do anything about that, so we can take. That's pretty good. That's a 2k. That's a 2k, 1k. And that's a rat beam. Takes his last life. This should be game. Hopefully. You never know. <laughs> hey, we got it. That's the video, guys. A real short one today. <laughs> but as you can see, that is the power of our build. We are not playing to go to the end. Our tech card I got to show you off was real solid. Um, you could play around with this number. It could be two. Um, you can even try the stage. But like I said, it's just really hard to do everything I want to do uh, and fit all those cards in. Almost makes me want like a 60 card format, but it is what it is, right? Um, but yeah, this is it. I love this deck. This deck is a hell of a lot of fun. I don't even know what I want to play at locals anymore. Like we got store champions coming up and I'm probably going to still do beard just so I can try hard a little. Um, but after that, I, I don't know if I want to do this, Luchi. I have the Cotter Curry, but I don't really want to play Cotter Curry. <laughs> so... I'm having a blast with this set. I hope you guys are enjoying OPO3. This is on our way to a very diverse meta. Guys, just stick it out for one more set. I promise you, things aren't even that bad now, and it's only getting to get better. This game's a hell of a lot of fun. Um, let me know what you guys... Uh, what kind of janky build do you want to see next? I'm going to do Luchi for our, our uh, next video on Friday. However, I just want to know what janky deck you want me to try and optimize uh, so we can do a fun video. Uh, but with that said, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that stuff. Peace.